Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dick Allgaier. A sit-in protest over school furloughs is in its fourth day, and tonight it has moved to a new location. It's tonight's top story. A handful of furlough protesters are camped out tonight on Baratania Street in front of Washington Place, where Governor Lingle lives. The group moved out there today mainly because they would have had no access to bathrooms if they stayed in the governor's office over the weekend. Well, we wanted to meet with the governor, and um, she wouldn't meet with us, so we told her we'd wait. And uh, with no access to bathrooms, we felt it was better to come out. Save Our Schools spokesperson Marguerite Higa says the sit-in did continue at the Capitol last night, even though they were cited for trespassing, but they moved to the street to allow access to bathrooms. We're getting really energized from all the aloha from the people on the street. They're really, you know, giving us shakas and, high, you know, high fives and um, honking. And so, you know, we feel great. The group plans to spend the rest of the weekend out on the sidewalk and tonight say they are getting good support from the community. Absolutely a lot of support. It's been very nice to come out. People are honking and waving and um, yeah, it's been very nice to be out here. And the protesters say they will move back into the Capitol to the governor's office on Monday morning.